Hello, welcome to this video. Now, this might look crazy, but it's not that crazy. Let's make it less crazy. I'm going to rewrite this, and this is a general principle I want you to adopt when you have a question like this. Just rewrite this and do a U substitution. Just say E, Y equals E to the U. Now, what is dy dx? Let's say you didn't know about this and this was the problem. And they just said, what do you have? What is dy du? Well, dy du is just going to be e to the u. That's all. Let's just end the video. But, u is representing x to the x. And that's where the work we're going to do lies. Um, well, with a chain rule, you know that if we want to actually get dy dx, which is the purpose of this video, we have to say that dy dx equals dy du times du dx. So, what is du dx? Um, let's do it here. So, if u equals x to the x, how can you differentiate a function to a function? That's where you have to always remember that your natural log, ln, has to show up. But when you put ln in any function that did not have ln, you have to also bring in Mr. E. So both of them will work together just to help you not change anything. So, just imagine, see, one way to bring this down is to have a, a log function, okay? So, I can say this is the same thing as x ln x, because this x is going to drop behind the natural log function. But that has changed the value of u. So, in order to keep the value of u the way it is, you have to bring this guy in. So, now we have u equals that, which is exactly this. Because remember, when this jumps back up here, ln is going to cancel e, and then you still have this function. Now, this can be differentiated. Always remember that. Always use it. Okay? Cool. Now, let's differentiate this with respect to x. So, du dx, which is what we're looking for because we already know this, Okay? And that's this. We just want to get this, and we're about to do it. Remember that thing we said here? Whenever you differentiate a function of e, it is still that function of e, unless what it is working on is itself a function that we have to differentiate, which is the case we have here. So our first answer is e to the x ln x. We would stop here if this was not a function on its own, but it's a function, so let's differentiate x ln x. It's easy. The product's rule. Remember, two functions multiplying each other? And that's where we are. So, we multiply this by, if you apply the product's rule to x ln x, you keep the first, you differentiate the second, and then you differentiate the first, you keep the second. That's what we're going to do. We're multiplying, keep the first, differentiate the second, plus Differentiate the first, keep the second. This gives us e to the x ln x multiplied by x times 1 over x is going to be 1, and 1 times this gives us this. We don't want any e in our answer, but remember this expression is this. We just brought this in so we can do all of these. We don't need the E. We don't need LN. Let's take it back to the original state. That's the original state. So this is equal to X to the X multiplied by 1 plus LN X. You know, I'm going to make it the absolute value of X, actually, because it has to be positive. Okay? Um, so let's put it that way. And we're done. This is du dx. That elusive 
du dx that we didn't have at the beginning. Now we have it, and let's write our answer. So dy dx, dy dx will be equal to du dx. What's du dx? It's e to the u. What is u? x to the x, which is the original problem. So it is e to the x to the x multiplied by x to the x. This looks beautiful. 1 plus ln absolute value of x. That's what we're looking for. We got that. If you got this, then you'll get any question that looks like this. It doesn't matter how many times this goes on. You just need to repeat the process. You go again, you go again, and again. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living.